So I'm letting the bike drop away and letting it come back to me. See, I even cased the fork then. And it didn't really make a big deal to me. Welcome back. Today I want to show you the most valuable technique for off-road riding that's going to allow you to ride a lot safer in rough conditions or when surprise obstacles come up on you, which is like the whole time riding off-road. And that technique is how to become weightless. I think what a lot of people don't understand is that when you're riding off-road, you are intermittently removing your entire weight from the motorcycle while attached to it. The biggest mistake most people make when they're gonna hit an obstacle off-road is that they freeze, they tense up, they lock, and they ensure that they are hitting that object at full 300 kilo mass. When, with this simple technique, they can remove their entire body weight from the motorcycle and momentarily impact that obstacle with only the weight of the bike. And that will make a huge difference on how much the bike deflects, how much better the suspension can work, and how much better chance you have of ejecting with a safe trajectory and maintaining control. Let's get straight into this. I'm gonna give you an example of what I'm talking about. But first, I wanna train you in how to become weightless on the bike. Okay guys, this is a real easy technique to practice and it's gonna help you do two things. It's gonna help you become weightless on the bike and it's gonna help you get more comfortable with standing up. And I know a lot of people struggle with that. So all, all I want you to do in first gear is just go along, stand up and relax. Stand up, relax. Watch from the back. Stand up, relax. Stand up, relax. What that's doing is removing, getting all my weight off the bike. And then when I say relax, I mean bend the elbows and knees. Just stand up straight and then a quick bend in the elbows and knees to float your body mass. You're floating your body mass. Really quick, stand up, float. Stand up, float. Okay, now I'm gonna put that technique into a couple of real world situations for you. Just so you can see the actual effect of how it works. Let's just treat that like a surprise obstacle. And uh, just to prove the point, I'm gonna show you guys what not to do, which is what most people new to off-road will do. They see the obstacle, they freeze, they don't even get out of the seat. Oh! If that was slightly wet or there was bumps or more obstacles following that, I could have been in all sorts of trouble. Now I want to show you how effortlessly it'll do it when I apply the weightless technique. Come along, going a lot faster. Up, oh, weightless. So instead of hitting that as a 300 kilo mass, like I did in the first run, now I'm momentarily becoming weightless and hitting it as a 200 kilo mass. Up, oh, weightless. That was a decent hit on the four. Right, pay attention. I'm standing up and I'm letting the bike come to me. See, I'm bending my elbows and letting the bike eject up to me. No time to do anything, but just stand up and become weightless, okay? Now you can see I really shunted that then. Lucky I'm amazed I haven't popped the front tire yet because I'm belting that hard. But honestly, my upper body is not even moving. All that's happening on impact is my arms and legs are bending up as the bike mass comes to me. If I hit that as a 300 kilo mass, rigid and combined with the bike weight, that could be really ugly. Okay guys, if there's one scenario where you absolutely want to become weightless, it's in a rock field. Now, in this situation, you got your best chance of surviving. If you can go in straight and not get deflected by the first one, if you can just survive that initial impact and float with it and ride it out, you'll be surprised. This is stuff that you just pick up 
in racing enduro cross and real gnarly sections. This is mild, this is nothing for enduro cross, but at a bit of speed on an adventure bike and just thrown at you out of the blue, it's pretty gnarly. Becoming weightless is the secret to surviving this. So I'm just keeping a firm grip with my hands, but I'm relaxing everything else, right down to your wrists and ankles. You really have to float this. It's sketchy. Okay guys, here's a typical scenario from pretty much every rolling hill fire trail in Australia. Um, erosion mounds that uh, are gutters dug in to stop water erosion, they're everywhere. And what it is, is an irregular hump. It's not an ideal jump face to just sit on and go off it. The goal here is to completely remove my body weight from the bike as it hits the face of this kicker and maintain full control, give the suspension its best chance of not only absorbing the impact of the ramp itself, but surviving the landing and just giving you a much cleaner focused run on the downhills or tracks. And there's a lot of them here. Let's go. Now I'm just using this technique in succession on the trail, coming along, well, there's one, wash off as much speed, step, let it absorb, okay, absorb, watch my helmet, see I even cased the front then, but my helmet didn't move, see the way I'm letting the bike absorb up to me, standing up, absorb it, standing up, absorb. So I'm letting the bike drop away and letting it come back to me. See, I even cased the fork then. And it didn't really make a big deal to me. I'm going to do it one more time now. I'll show you what happens if I do the reverse effect. I love this animal. The dark horse. Right, now I'm going to do the reverse. Full preload, combining my mass to get lift to actually jump it. This is more advanced. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. So it's a lot more sketchy. But see how combining my mass and preloading into it is actually doubling, almost tripling my trajectory. That's just to give you an understanding of the difference that technique makes. Okay guys, this is another real-time exercise in becoming weightless on the bike. The first part, the downhill, and then the second part is popping the front to clear the obstacles and maintain momentum, as I showed you in the previous video, all right? So just roll with me on board. All right, starting the downhill, first kicker, weightless, absorb. I can maintain a bit of speed. And I forgot to turn off the ABS, just gonna have to roll with it. Okay, bit of a runaway train, right? But this is where that technique is more important. Whoa, all right, I'm taking out as much of the impact, the jump as possible. And I can't go any slower than this because the ABS is screwing me over, but I'm dealing with it because of that technique. Okay, now we're up, popping the front. Pop, pop, pop. All right guys, this is a more advanced technique and it's advanced because what I'm gonna do now is combine the two techniques. Combine the preload and pop with becoming weightless. Perfect situation is, this isn't a huge drain, but it is a drain and if you hit this at speed, frozen on the bike and do nothing, it's probably going to give you a massive ejector. The majority of you should just focus on washing off speed and then absorbing the bike and just maintaining that smooth trajectory. The less your helmet moves, the better you're riding, okay? Now, the better you're processing the terrain, I should say. So what I'll be doing is the preload and the pop followed up by becoming weightless. This is the first one. 
This is another one of those skills that it's so important to just become instinctive. You know, you want your body to just react this way without thinking it. You want to be able to just remove your weight from the bike, relax. And again, it all comes back to separating the masses. So instead of hitting an obstacle as a combined 200, 100, 300 kilo mass, you are momentarily removing your weight and your your inertia is just carrying you independent of the bike even though you are still attached by your hands this bike might as well be hitting the object by itself and that's the whole point of this technique to give it its best chance of surviving the impact giving taking extra load off the suspension so you you're actually getting the most value out of your suspension at the same time um, look Go back, watch all my other videos, lock it in, advance slowly, take your time with it, you know. This is all about becoming a better, safer rider. And look, help me, help you, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit everything.